Hi, good afternoon. This is Jorge Guerrero with Dr. Diesel Technologies bringing you another instructional video. Today we're going to cover connecting the DATS Echo to the 4 Lady E transmission found on your uh, highly mobile multi purpose wheel vehicle, better known as the Humvee. Okay, so before we get started, I want to show you a little bit of where the diagnostic connector is on the Humvee transmission. Um, the diagnostic connector is actually found on the exterior box housing the transmission TCM. Um, it's a little difficult to get to the diagnostic connector, but I'll show you exactly where it is. Essentially what it, where it is, is if you go to the section right behind the driver's seat, where normally the passenger seat will be underneath the passenger seat or in that cowl, you're going to find the uh, transmission TCM case and the diagnostic connector. So here's one example of the transmission TCM on the Humvee. I'm going to come in on it. It's going to be a little difficult. But this right here is the actual TCM. And over to your left of the TCM, you'll see a cover housing. And that's where the uh, wire harness connector goes into. And on the right side of that wire harness connector that you see, uh, that is where the diagnostic connector is. So let me see if we can zoom in on that. And it's going to be... Okay, so the cabling that we're going to need to go ahead and establish that diagnostic connection to the Humvee for Our Lady E uh, TCM. Of course, you're going to need your J-Link V9. Then you're going to need your JDC 548.9 cable. This end goes on the TCM diagnostic connector. And this end will connect to your JDC 100 adapter cable. Speaking of which, here is your JDC 100 adapter cable. This end goes to the JDC 548.9 for your uh, Humvee TCM connection. This end goes into your J-Link V9 connector. And then finally, we'll need that USB cable, okay? So, let's start with your V9. You wanna connect your JDC 100. Make sure you orient the connectors. Make sure you run down your thumb screws. And while I'm doing this, you see this yellow tag right here? This is essentially telling you, or instructing you, to make sure you do these connections before you even attempt to connect to the diagnostic connector. Now we're gonna connect your JDC 100 to your JDC 548.9. Simple connection there. And finally, your USB cable to your J-Link B9. This has a notch on it, so you wanna make sure you orient the notch of the 12 o'clock position notch on the V9. And then this connection obviously goes to your Panasonic Tough Book, uh, your USB port. Now one thing I did mention about this yellow tag and connecting any diagnostic connector to the uh, vehicle, you'll wanna make sure that you connect everything to the V9 first because oftentimes there'll be power on the diagnostic connector and if you connect your diagnostic connector cable to the diagnostic connector on the vehicle prior to connecting to your V9 and the rest of your cabling you risk the chance chance of arcing the cable connections okay so now I have my JDC 548.9 adapter cable that's already connected to my JDC 100 cable. And of course you want the JDC 100 cable already connected to your J-Link V9. Now, as far as orientation, you wanna take a look at that notch right there and light it up with the notch at the 12 o'clock position of the diagnostic connector. Okay, what you want to do is you want to feel that go in, notch, 
once it goes in, then you can begin to turn the cannon connector and you hear that little snap. And now you know it's ready to go in. Okay, once you get all your cables set up, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera so you can uh, see what uh, the complete connection should be looking like. Okay, so you can see I've got my JDC 538.9 going into the diagnostic connector over here that we previously showed you. So you're hooked up to your B9 right here. And then finally, we've got a USB cable ready to go into our USB port on the tough book. Okay, now that we've established that connection on the Far Lady ETCM, we're going to come over here and we need to initialize the battery ignition switch so that we can begin to receive communication through the TCM. So we have our ignition switch right here and we just need to place that in the run position. You'll see your weight uh, glow plug come on. Uh, if you're going to start the vehicle, you want to make sure that weight plug uh, glow plug goes off before you start the vehicle. Okay, so then uh, we have our application already launched and to get to the Humvee transmission we're going to select our manual option and then we're going to select manufacturers over in the bottom right hand corner and then we'll select our GM option we're listed with two options there GM engines and GM transmissions on this one we'll select the GM transmissions and we are working with the 4R Lady E, so we'll select that guy. And before we select the connect button, we want to select our connectors button. And when you do that, you'll see that it'll point out the connectors that we had talked about previously. And then it'll also show you diagrams of how to establish those connections. And then that's the connector on the actual TCM down by the uh, passenger left passenger compartment and here's the connections so once we select that we can go ahead and select our connect button and begin to read the information off the uh, transmission by the way as it's doing this the protocol is the GM UART uh, 1850 if you're interested and now you're back to your diagnostics menu screen uh, with uh, you've got uh, several actions there that uh, you can perform and like I said these are uh, very similar to the other actions that we've performed on the other vehicles like the MTV.